This is the best way to install and set up the Desmoom emulator in 2024. All links in this video can be found in the description. To start off, we want to go to the Desmoom page. This can be found on desmoom.org or again by clicking the link in the description. From here, you will see this page right here and you want to hit head on over to the download page. So we want to click this. From here, you will see two options, either choose the stable releases or the nightly bills. I recommend going with the stable releases to avoid any sort of problems. From here, you want to hit this top link, which will take us to the Desmoon download. And you can choose here, as you can see, what operating system you are on. I am currently on Windows, so I'm going to choose this one right here. Once you have selected which version you want to install, click it. This will bring you to a location where you can save your folder. As you can see, I already have it done for the purposes of this video, but you will just hit save. Make sure to save it in a location where you can easily remember where it is and easily have access to it. Once this is done, navigate your way to where you have saved the folder. And for the next part of this video, we are going to have to extract this file as it is a zip file. This means it must be opened and to do this, we are going to use either 7-zip or WinRAR. I personally prefer 7-zip and that is what this tutorial is, is going to be using. However, I will leave a link to both 7-Zip and WinRAR in the description. To do, extract this with 7-Zip, you're going to hit right click right here. Hit show more options if you're on Windows 11 or if you're on Windows 10. In either case, just go to 7-Zip and then extract here. Make sure to use extract here so it does not extract in another location. As you can see right here, here's the Desmoom exe file, which means we have successfully installed the emulator. Click on the exe file to open Desmoom. This completes the first part of our tutorial. For the second part, we're going to look at some settings you want to configure to have the best possible experience. For the first setting change, we're going to go to the view tab in the top here. And click on this and then change the window size. You can set this to whatever you find most comfortable. However, I personally am going to use the 2x screen size. As you can see, this makes it much bigger, which will be beneficial when playing games. Now for our second setting change, we're going to hit config and then 3D settings. This will take us to this screen right here, where you will see 3D rendering engine. There are two options right here, soft rasterizer and OpenGL. Which one to use is down to preference, however I will try and simplify it to the best of my ability. Soft rasterizer renders the games from your processor, whereas OpenGL renders the games from your graphics card. Whichever one is more powerful, you want to use there. For example, if you have a very good GPU, you would use OpenGL, as your GPU is able to handle the power of rendering your games. However, if you have a very good CPU, you would want to pick Soft Rasterizer, as your processor is what excels in your system. I do understand that this is a very complicated area and that many people may be confused. If you do have any questions or inquiries, please do leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you regarding this as soon as I possibly can. I want to be very clear with this next step, it only applies if you chose OpenGL in the previous step. You can go to Config, Display Method, and then also choose OpenGL right here. Now for our last step, we have to go to Config, Emulation Settings, and under CPU Emulation Mode, take this box Use Dynamic Recompiler. Select this and type in 100 into this box. Hit Enter, and that will save. Now we are already on our final step, where all we have to do is change around our controller settings. To do this, hit Config, then scroll down to Control Config. This will load your controller settings where you can choose which buttons perform which actions. From here, we can alter around our controller settings by highlighting a box and pressing a button. For example, if I want to change this left um, on my keyboard arrows to Y, I can just highlight this box so it goes green and then press Y. That was just an example though. I will not be playing with left as Y. I will be putting left back to left. That is just how to do it. So select a box and then change around your keys. Then once you have confirmed that all your keys are the most optimal for you personally, hit OK. This is the setup complete and we are now ready to launch a game. Now for the last part of this guide, this is how you can launch games using Desmoon. 
So you're going to need to have games and I cannot provide the link to games myself. However, if you know where to look, you can find some. Once you have a game, save it to a location where you can easily remember it. This is where I've saved my location to if you want to use something similar. For this example, I have Mario Kart DS. However, it can be any game of your choice. Click the game and then holding left click, move it around. This will allow you to drag the game. We're going to utilize this tool to move Mario Kart DS, drag it over here and place it onto Desmoon. This will launch the game. And as you can see, the game is being read and Mario Kart DS has launched. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you all so much for watching if you made it this far into the video. Please consider liking and subscribing as this did take a lot of work. Also, of course, do not be afraid to leave any questions you have in the comment section below. I will of course answer every single one to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.